Now today, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper did confirm with Channel 9 that it is very likely schools are going to be closed longer than two weeks. We're going to be out of schools for a while. Uh, the order was until March 30th, but I think people know that with community spread now coming and this crisis increasing that we will likely be out of school for a longer period of time. I want to bring in now our education reporter Elsa Gillis and schools are out, but Elsa, you're getting calls about hourly workers who say they're still on the job. Yeah, and Scott, the district has told me that all staff will be paid during this two week period, but CMS only has the authority to pay employees for hours worked or leave used. Earlier this week, the district began transitioning both exempt and non-exempt employees to work remotely. However, for work that can't be done remotely, they were reviewing alternative work options for those people. We have gotten many calls into the newsroom from employees like bus drivers saying there has been confusion about whether or not they need to be at work, why they're working under these circumstances, and some are struggling with child care. Now, in the last two hours, a district rep sent me a statement that says in part, CMS understands these concerns and is working to resolve as many concerns as possible. In the meantime, we ask bus drivers, cafeteria workers, and other hourly workers to patiently await directives from supervisors as it relates to next steps. While many CMS jobs can be performed remotely, other jobs cannot. Therefore, the district is working to ensure employees who are not able to work remotely have work opportunities. And Scott, in response to the words from the, uh, the governor, governor earlier today, district leaders have been saying the same thing at CMS, that it's likely we'll go beyond two weeks out of school. I know they've been working furiously behind the scenes to get ready for that. And yesterday, uh, district officials said that they were waiting for guidance from the state about remote learning. Scott. Yeah, I'm sure within the next few days we'll be getting an extended amount of time um, that class will be out. We're just waiting to learn what that number is, and of course that could change as well. Thanks, Elsa.